Fafa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path Path of the Network Marketer. 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 All right, welcome back to the show. It is day 66, episode 66. That's right, 66. Let's just dive right into it. Um, I got a long, well, I got a lot of information I want to share with you guys. Today's episode is about content. Surprise, surprise. Um, Yeah, I know I talk about content a lot on this show, but uh, I I wanted to talk about content in the context of where to get ideas from, right? Like sources that you could turn to um, for more ideas. I know for me, so I'm sure for a lot of other people, you know, when I first jumped into um, uh, online marketing and social media marketing, one of the biggest roadblocks, well, mental roadblocks, blocks um, that uh, that I was uh, coming up against was how am I going to continue to come up with fresh new ideas, um, whether it's short form uh, content or long form content like this podcast or with YouTube. How am I going to continue to churn out new, fresh, relevant content that people want to consume, especially if you're publishing content every day? Remember, you know, we're, before we start using um, or even thought about using online marketing and social media marketing as um, as a tool for our businesses, um, we generally have the mindset of being content consumers, right? People that are just consuming content. And most of the stuff that we post is like, okay, here's what I'm doing right now. You know, I'm watching this movie. I'm eating this meal, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, you know, making that mental shift to and, and becoming more intentional and purposeful about uh, content creation and publishing, um, it gets a little scary because you're like, how am I going to continue to come up with ideas? And so um, I want to share with you guys just a list of five sources and resources that I use personally um, to continue to, to just like inspire me and, and spark new ideas um, um, uh, yeah, spark new ideas uh, so that I can keep churning out content for you guys here on the show. So number one, easy newsletters, right? If, if you're a network marketer, if you're a, an entrepreneur, if you're an online marketer, whatever it happens to be, like if you're, if you're a self-driven entrepreneur in any industry, whatever that industry has to be, you should be subscribed to a newsletter. It's free education. Also, it keeps you updated and informed on what's going on um, in, in the marketplace, right? So, so you stay up to date and you stay relevant. Um, uh, there's no reason for you not to read and, and, and be subscribed to a newsletter. So for, for network marketing, I'm subscribed to network marketing newsletters. I'm subscribed to personal development newsletters. I'm subscribed to uh, podcasting newsletters, especially if there's a particular individual that that you've you know bought a course from or that you follow online. Subscribe to their newsletter. There's no reason for you not to, right? Um, don't don't think about it as oh, I just want to keep my inbox empty. That's ridiculous. That's a ridiculous mindset. Uh, again, it's it's a free source of of great information, updated information, relevant uh, information to you um, that keeps you educated and informed. So newsletters is a great one. Um, the second one is other podcasts. Like at least for me, all right? <laughs> I'm a podcaster, so I'm going to listen to other podcasters and and I want to hear what's going on in the marketplace, right? In fact, uh, the idea. Idea for this particular episode, I got from another podcast. I got it from Content is Profit with Luis and Luis, right? I've mentioned them before in the past. Um, I forgot. I forgot to write down what episode it was, but they had an episode where they did the, exactly the same thing. They listed where they got their ideas for, for content. And, and so I wanted to do, uh, bleh, sorry, tongue twister. I wanted to do the same. <laughs> I wanted to do the same. Um, so outside of podcast, uh, you, obviously you can use books, um, audio books and other audios, right? Uh, like it's, it's all about self-education um, uh, for me. Uh, it, well, like no matter where you are in business, uh, no matter how successful, um, you know, or whatever milestones that you've reached, um, uh, whatever level of success you've reached in your business, you should always be self-educating. Pod- Podcast for me is a big one with that. Books, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm an avid reader. Um, uh, audios, audiobooks, things like that. Like, I'm always consuming uh, information. And so, you know, because of that, I, you know, again, I can, I can regurgitate and come up with new ideas. Um, number three is groups, courses, and communities. So, like, Facebook groups um, that are relevant to whatever profession or industry you happen to be in. 
Lots of great network marketing groups out there, um, uh, you know, on Facebook. So just tap in, right? Tap into these groups. Uh, engage in the communities. Connect with other people. You're gonna have. You're gonna come up with great ideas, and you're gonna um, find great ideas. Because like a lot of the times, hopefully, if it's a good and healthy community, people will will share their questions or people will share their ideas um, to kind of support each other, right? And so you know, groups and and communities are a great source of that. And of course, courses and and. Um, and you know educational tools that that you might have bought or or taken is another great source uh, as well as an extension now i, I want to give a caveat please don't just plagiarize information always always if you're sharing information on on your in your content that 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 you credit who you got that information from um you know i know they say copying is is the ultimate flattery but if people don't know you're copying, copying, <laughs> then it's no flattery at all. So make sure make sure you're 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 referencing um, where you got that information from that you're sharing, um, and then and then everything is all well and good. So groups, courses, and communities. Um, um, another one is events. Live events is a great one. I know you know where it, events are starting to happen again more regularly um, now that we're you know we're mostly. Com- I mean, it's still pandemic. COVID's still out there. However, um, you know the world has kind of adjusted and adapted, so people are people are getting back. To to events, right? And so, and, and network marketing. If you're not, um, if you're not attending your your company's events, the, there's something wrong. Like that is a non-negotiable. You should always, um, as much as possible, attend every event that that you can get to um, for your company, right? So that's a no-brainer. I mean, of course, other other events as well that that are that are you know just kind of industry events. There's obviously, as I mentioned, the mastermind event. Um, that's that's hosted and, and run by Art Jonak. There's the Association of Network Marketing Professionals that do events, and actually they have a great newsletter too. Um, so live events um, outside of network marketing, you know, I think next year I'm going to start um, attending and participating in 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 you know, well, to broaden my horizons, podcasting events, online marketing events. I know Funnel Hacking Live just happened, I think, a month or two ago, and I know that's that was a huge event that I want to go to. Uh, personal development events and and personal growth. I've never been to a t- Tony Robbins event. Uh, like I know that's 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 surprising. Um, after all these years, um, I still have never been to a Tony Robbins event. I hear they're great. So events are a great source. I you know I'm going to start getting out to more events next year. But you know it's a great source. Not only is it great education that 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 you can share with your audience, um, but also it's a great place to network with other people. And it, you know once you get to know and connect with other people, that that gives you access to their ideas and and you know their their resources and things like that. Their network. Um, and so it's it's almost an endless source of of potential ideas that 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 you can tap into going to live events. Um, the last one, your own experience. It's simple as that. You know if you have a growing business, you know what you're going through, and that's something that you can share um, with your audiences and, and like for me as a network marketer one of one of my biggest goals especially you know taking my business online and creating content is sharing my my perspective and my experience with you in hopes that it can and shave time off your your growth curve right right cutting cutting 10 years into into a couple of years i think um you know like that's that's always been one of my primary goals um with well even before even before creating content and going online like when i when i would do uh, speaking engagements when i would do trainings it was always with the intent of well how can I shorten your time as a network marketer so you know as you start creating content just share your experience with people because I know if whatever you happen happen to be going through somebody else is going through as well or will go through in their network marketing business so sharing that allows them to potentially again um, you know you know cut their cut their learning curve cut their cut their um, you know their their build time um, uh, by however many fraction right and, and that's helpful that's always helpful uh, like again for me early in my career the the internet wasn't as prevalent social media isn't as wasn't as prevalent as it is today um, had I, I I believe had had we had the resources that we have today with the internet um, that I, I think my my yeah my growth curve and 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 the time it took me to start you know creating um, getting momentum in my organization and my network marketing business would have been cut at least in half I mean you know gone from you know almost seven years to maybe three and a half years right All right so share your own experience I mean that's the thing and that goes back to um, that goes back to just one of the primary uh, uh, you know ideas or well primary primary principles that that uh, I I really grasped onto when I first started uh, doing online stuff was. Uh, you know, document, don't create, 
right? And I guess, you know, it was Gary Vee that first said it. I heard it from Russell Brunson. But, it, you know, it's, I think it's still really, really relevant. Um, it, it takes the pressure off you having to kind of come up and create ideas out of thin air. Document your experience. Share your experience. And, and, and also, too, that, ha- that gives you the added advantage of, of letting the audience get to know who you are and what you're going through, right? And, and so that, that deepens the connection with your audience. So that's the list. That's the list. Again, um, uh, number one, newsletters. Number two, podcast books and audios. Number three, uh, groups, courses, and communities. Number four, live events. Number five, your own experience. Document, don't create. So that's the show for today. Thanks for tuning in. More coming tomorrow. Until then, be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next episode.